Can you imagine a tool predicting and creating new materials at a groundbreaking pace? Google. DeepMind's genome is doing just that. What could this mean for the future of technological breakthroughs? Google DeepMind is introducing a groundbreaking tool named Graphical Networks for Material Exploration, or Genome for short, to accelerate the discovery of new materials using deep learning. This technology aims to significantly reduce the traditional trial and error research process that often spans months or even years in various fields. From EV batteries to solar cells to microchips. How cool is that? GNOME has already demonstrated its potential by predicting structures for 2.2 million new materials. Remarkably, over 700 of these predicted materials have been successfully created in the laboratory and are currently undergoing testing. Google DeepMind's Genome, a revolutionary deep learning tool for materials discovery, joins forces with Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory's Autonomous Lab. This lab employs machine learning and robotic arms to engineer new materials autonomously, leveraging the data from Genome's materials database. Described as the AlphaFold equivalent for materials discovery, Genome has significantly expanded the known stable materials to an impressive 421,000. This innovative AI-driven partnership marks a transformative leap in material science, unlocking vast possibilities for accelerated discovery and development. In the quest for groundbreaking materials, Dogus Kubuk, materials discovery lead at Google DeepMind, highlights our limited knowledge of stable materials despite their critical role in technology. To overcome challenges, DeepMind uses two cool methods. The first one creates over a billion structures by tweaking existing materials. The second one is more daring. It predicts if new materials will be stable just by looking at their chemical formulas without caring about what already exists. Combining these two methods opens up a world of possibilities. After creating these potential structures, DeepMind puts them through its genome models. These models figure out how much energy a structure releases when breaking down. This is crucial because stable materials don't break down easily, which is important for engineering work. The genome then picks the most exciting candidates, and they get an extra check based on some known rules. The iterative process is systematically repeated, with each discovery seamlessly integrated into subsequent rounds of training. During its initial phase, Genome exhibited a modest precision of approximately 5% in predicting the stability of various materials. However, through a progressive and iterative learning approach, its predictive capabilities significantly improved. The conclusive outcomes showed that Genome achieved an impressive stability prediction rate, exceeding 80% for the first model and 33% for the second. How impressive is that? The application of AI models for material discovery is not a groundbreaking concept, though. Comparable techniques have been employed by initiatives such as the Materials Project, under the leadership of Kristen Person at Berkeley Lab, which has successfully identified and enhanced the stability of an extensive array of 48,000 materials. What sets Genome apart? is its substantial scale and heightened precision, positioning it as an advanced and highly effective tool in the realm of material prediction through artificial intelligence. Identifying new materials is only part of the equation. Synthesizing them and validating their utility is equally crucial. Berkeley Lab's innovative autonomous laboratory, the A-Lab, leverages genomes discoveries in tandem with information from the materials project. This integration involves the use of robotics and machine learning to optimize the development of these materials, marking a significant leap in the efficiency and effectiveness of the synthesis process. According to researchers at Berkeley Lab, the A-Lab demonstrated its efficiency by conducting 355 experiments for 17 days, successfully synthesizing 41 out of 58 proposed compounds. This translates to an impressive rate of two successful syntheses per day. In contrast, traditional human-led labs often require significantly more time for material synthesis. As Kristen Person noted during a press briefing, the conventional process can extend to months or even years, causing many students to abandon their efforts after a few weeks. DeepMind and Berkeley Lab researchers believe that these advanced AI tools can significantly expedite innovation in hardware across various sectors, including energy and computing. Kristen Person emphasizes the critical need for innovation in hardware, particularly in the field of clean energy, 
to address the climate crisis effectively. The application of these AI tools represents a key element in accelerating such innovation. Chris Bartel, though not directly involved in the research, expresses optimism about the materials identified by these AI tools. These materials show promise for a range of technologies, including batteries, computer chips, ceramics, and electronics. A notable application highlighted by DeepMind is in lithium-ion battery conductors. Gnome, in particular, identified 528 promising lithium-ion conductors among its discoveries. These materials have the potential to enhance the efficiency of batteries, with implications for energy storage technologies. Genome, on the other hand, has shattered previous constraints by uncovering a staggering 2.2 million materials. To put this in perspective, this achievement is equivalent to compressing 800 years' worth of knowledge into a single discovery, showcasing an unprecedented scale and level of precision in material predictions. The breakthrough includes the identification of 52,000 new layered compounds akin to graphene, holding transformative potential for electronics through the development of superconductors. This dwarfs the previous count of about 1,000 such materials. Furthermore, Genome pinpointed many potential lithium-ion conductors, a notable 25-fold increase from a prior study. These materials have the potential to enhance the performance of rechargeable batteries significantly. Google recently shared their excitement to unveil the predicted structures for a remarkable 380,000 materials carefully selected for their high likelihood of successful synthesis in the laboratory and other useful applications. GNOME stands as an advanced graph neural network model, adept at working with graph-like data resembling connections between atoms. This particular capability makes GNNs, especially GNOME, well-suited for uncovering new crystalline materials. Initially, GNOME underwent training using openly available data from the Materials Project, focusing on crystal structures and their stability. Google's approach involved employing Genome to generate fresh candidate crystals and predict their stability. To gauge the model's predictive powers during successive training cycles, Google consistently evaluated its performance using density functional theory, a well-established computational technique in physics, chemistry, and materials science, crucial for understanding atomic structures and assessing crystal stability. A crucial element in Google's approach was the implementation of active learning, a process that played a pivotal role in significantly improving the performance of genome. The research managed to achieve a substantial increase in the rate of material stability prediction, elevating it from approximately 50% to an impressive 80%, as benchmarked by MatBench Discovery, an external benchmark set by previous state-of-the-art models. That concludes today's video. Hit that subscribe button for more content from us. Thanks for watching.